In this animation, we are going to explain about instrumentation and working of gas chromatography or GC. GC instrument is constructed by various parts which are gas tank, gas tank valve, gas tube, gas flow controller, GC oven, sample inlet, GC column, detector and recorder. Now coming to the details of various parts of GC instrument. First part is gas tank which is made up of stainless steel and contains gas. Gas can be used as a mobile phase which may be helium, nitrogen, hydrogen, argon, carbon dioxide and air. Amongst all these gases, helium is most commonly used as a mobile phase in GC. Next part of GC instrument is gas controller. It helps us to control the gas flow rate. In GC, pressure of gas should be in the range of 40 to 80 per square inch. Moving on to the GC oven, which is an enclosed chamber and used to maintain temperature, especially high temperature, and it can be heated up to 400 degrees Celsius. Now coming to the sample inlet, where we can inject gas or liquid sample. If sample is solid, then it will be dissolved in the liquid and converted into the liquid sample and then injected. Next part of GC instrument is GC column. Two major type of columns are available. First one is capillary column and the second one is packed column. Generally, capillary column is used in GC and length will be 1 to 300 meters. Internal wall of this capillary column is coated with high boiling point stationary phase like silicon polymer or ethylene glycol. Now let us understand the various detectors used in GC. Various types of detectors used in GC are thermal conductivity detector or TCD, flame ionization detector or FID, electron capture detector or ECD, thermionic specific detector or TSD, flame photometric detector or FPD, photo ionization detector or PID and mass spectral detector or MSD. MSD is most sensitive detector amongst all these detectors. Now coming to the working of GC instrument, first we will open the gas tank valve, then set the pressure of gas mobile phase at 40 to 80 per square inch. Now gas mobile phase will be flowing in the GC column. After that, we will inject the sample through the sample inlet. If sample is gas, then gas syringe will be used. If sample is solid, then it will be dissolved in the suitable liquid and converted into liquid sample. If sample is liquid, then we will inject the sample through the micro syringe at the sample inlet. If gas sample is injected, then it will directly go towards the column along with mobile phase for elution like this. But if we are injecting liquid sample, then it will be converted into gaseous form due to heating created by heated metal block present in the sample inlet part. The vaporized liquid sample will move towards the capillary column. When the vaporized sample or gaseous sample enter into the column, then separation starts according to the boiling point and size of the molecule. Low boiling point compound and smaller size molecule will show higher affinity with mobile phase and probably elute out faster. Comparatively, higher boiling point compound and larger size molecule will probably elute out later. But some compounds are having very high boiling point and not eluted in normal condition. In that case, we can increase the temperature of oven and increase the elution rate. This gradual increment in the temperature is called temperature programming and ultimately eluted molecules will reach to the detector. Finally, chromatogram will be visible in the recorder according to the intensity and retention time of the compounds like this. We have discussed the details about instrumentation and working of gas chromatography. 
I hope you clearly understand the concept of gas chromatography and as you have seen we have done a lot of hard work to make this animation possible. So I personally request you to share this video as much as you can then only we can afford the production cost of this kind of videos and we can make more and more animated videos. If you are a teacher then you can use this video for explaining the concept of gas chromatography to your students for non-commercial purpose. But if you want to use this animation for any commercial purpose then you have to take written permission mail id is given here so you can contact me on that mail id. Thank you so much.